Sit down, down, sit down. Sit down and take your rest. The seed that would become the First Baptist Church of Williamsburg was planted at the start of the American Revolution. A courageous group of enslaved and free blacks defied the law to gather for evangelical worship with an itinerant black preacher named Moses. They met in secrecy on the wooded acres of Green Spring Plantation, five miles from the capital city. Succeeding Moses as the head of the church was an enslaved man belonging to James Vobe, the owner of King's Arms Tavern. His name was Gowan Pamphlet. By 1781, the church had relocated to Raccoon Chase on the outskirts of Williamsburg with Pamphlet as their spiritual leader. It was here in the early 1800s that a white townsman, a member of the Cole family, was moved by the heartfelt praise and singing he overheard. Cole offered the use of his carriage house on Nassau Street in Williamsburg to the congregation to have and to hold as long as it was used for a church. Despite Virginia's 1786 statute for religious freedom, Virginia law forbids slaves to meet in groups for any purpose without permission. Nevertheless, Pamphlet's congregation emerges from the shadows to meet unmolested on Nassau Street. To empower his church, Pamphlet petitioned for its admission into the regional Dover Baptist Association in 1791. The white-dominated organization accepted the Black Baptist Church of Williamsburg into its fold in 1793. By 1830, the African Baptist Church in Williamsburg, as it was then known, claimed over 600 members led by Reverend John Dipper. Dipper was born into slavery in 1778, but would become a master bootmaker with real estate and business interests, which allowed him to purchase freedom for himself and his family. Reverend Dipper's gifts in the way of exhortation and preaching soon found him ministering, not just before the Williamsburg congregation, but in the region roundabout. But Dipper's liberty to preach the gospel wherever he saw a need would be short-lived. In August of 1831, an enslaved preacher named Nat Turner led an uprising of slaves in Southampton County, Virginia, killing dozens of whites. In the aftermath of Turner's rebellion, the meeting house on Nassau Street was closed for a year. In time, Virginia law specified that black church services could not be held without a white person present. The increased scrutiny of his church prompted Reverend Dipper to leave town. Unable to settle his affairs, he left behind real estate, slaves, and debts owed to him. In 1856, the congregation dedicated a new brick church on Nassau Street, finally replacing the aging meeting house. 30 years later, the women's auxiliary raised money to purchase a church bell to call people to worship. The American Civil War brought unprecedented loss and upheaval to the country. In the spring of 1862, the church was confiscated by the Confederacy to serve as a hospital for rebel troops injured while fighting in the Battle of Williamsburg. When the Union Army prevailed and the Confederates retreated, the building was reclaimed by the African Baptist Church. In 1863, the church officially changed its name to First Baptist Church of Williamsburg. 